Sea Monster or World War I Submarine One of the most mysterious creature sightings in the history of the world involves a World War I German U-boat. So far as the story goes, it was attacked by a sea monster before being sunk by British patrol ships in the Irish Sea way back in 1918. The story says that some kind of sea monster, possibly a giant crocodile type beast, attacked the vessel and forced it to surface. This resulted in it being sunk by the British. While it's obviously impossible to substantiate claims from 1918, it is a pretty remarkable story. It could have definitely been a marine animal that attacked the submarine, but the truth is that nobody knows for sure. The submarine has recently been found off the coast of Scotland by marine engineers, but it's still sitting at a depth of 340 feet, and there are no plans to retrieve it from the ocean. According to a marine archaeologist from Bournemouth University, the wreckage is in reasonably good shape even after a hundred years submerged, but as of yet, nobody has found any evidence of teeth marks to suggest an animal attack. Still, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Thylacine The thylacine has been extinct for 80 years, but that has not stopped people from spotting the unusual creature. According to Australian officials, the thylacine, or Tasmanian tiger, has been spotted numerous times since the last known member of its kind perished at the Hobart Zoo in 1936. This has led people to wonder if the Tasmanian tiger ever really went extinct or merely went into hiding. Between 2016 and 2019, there have been at least seven sightings of the Tasmanian tiger. According to a report from USA Today, the eighth sighting happened just recently. A witness described spotting a large cat-like creature the size of a fox near their home. The creature was allegedly not fluffy or hairy, and it had black stripes on the rear side of its body just like a Tasmanian tiger. The big question here is what does that mean for the animal? Could the Tasmanian tiger truly still exist? One man even claimed that he found a footprint while hiking up Sleeping Beauty Mountain that belonged to the animal. One family even captured some blurry video footage of a Tasmanian tiger strolling through their front yard. There is now very high hope in Tasmania that the long lost thylacine is making an appearance after 80 years of extinction. If this turns out to be the case, it will be one of the first instances in animal history where a creature literally goes extinct and then crawls its way back from the dead. In the next decade or so, we could see the reemergence of this legendary beast. What do you think? Is the Tasmanian tiger extinct or just hiding? Let me know in the comments down below, then be sure to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already to stay up to date with the latest and greatest videos. Alien Squid most people on Earth are familiar with the giant squid. Most people also believe the giant squid is the largest and most elusive of any squid species on Earth. And while it may be the longest, it's definitely not the most elusive. A new sighting of a mysterious creature is showing just how elusive deep sea creatures can be. It all started when something that looked like a creature from a science fiction novel was spotted about 7,000 feet beneath the surface of the ocean in the Gulf of Mexico. It's known as the Magna Pinna squid and it is an absolute horror. The squid was spotted in rare video footage taken by the Shell Oil Company while trying to research offshore oil rigging. The squid was found lurking through the depths, looking like something out of your worst nightmare. Of course, the footage was caught by a remotely operated vehicle as people tend not to go 7,000 feet below the surface. It's believed that the squid in the footage was at least 26 feet 8 meters in length, with 10 long and skinny appendages. This is quite different from the usual squid, which has 8 long tentacles and two short arms. All the tentacles of this freak of nature appeared to be the same size. They're also held at right angles from the squid's body, making it look like it has elbows. Almost nothing is known about the Magna Pinna squid. It's one of the only animal species on the planet that has never been captured. There has never been a physical specimen taken from this monstrosity, and it's been spotted only a handful of times. The Ibu Gogo Indonesia is a land of many mysteries, but on the island of Flores in the east of Indonesia, there is more mystery than in the rest of the country, and a lot of it has to do with legends of a strange jungle-dwelling race of creatures known as the Ibu Gogo. Allegedly, the creatures were a race of hairy humanoids. Some people claim that they were the original inhabitants of the island and that they were wiped out by more advanced humans. Other people say that the Ibu Gogo eventually evolved into the Indonesian people who live on the island today. They allegedly only stood around 4 feet tall, 1.3 meters on average, and looked a lot more like apes than modern humans. They had long arms and round bellies, and they were fast runners and agile climbers. 
They were also supposedly ravenous gluttons who would eat literally anything, including humans from other villages. But were the Ibu Gogo real? The answer is not quite clear. They were apparently sighted during the 19th century by foreign explorers and new settlers on the island. The most recent sighting of a small and hairy man-like creature was in 2004 when a female specimen was allegedly captured in a village on the island. Unfortunately, the mysterious woman apparently escaped and then ran back into the forest, and nobody has seen another one since. What really makes this story come alive is the fact that archaeologists have discovered the bones of small humans dubbed hobbits that once lived on the island. It could very well be that the Ibu Gogo are still hiding out deep in the wilderness. Coelacanth for all intents and purposes, the coelacanth is a dinosaur. It is the only surviving lungfish from the Devonian period, which was 410 to 355 million years ago. For most of modern times, coelacanths were thought to have gone extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago. It was not until a trawler working off the coast of South Africa found one in 1938 that scientists realized the fish was still living. While it's extremely unclear how many are left in the wild, the coelacanth is definitely not extinct. In fact, it might be making a huge comeback. Scientists believe that the coelacanth lives inside of caves about 2,300 feet below the surface of the ocean, and that they are nocturnal animals that grow to be around 6 feet in length. After the first one was captured in 1938, the world went for 70 years before another one was found in 1998 by a marine biologist on his honeymoon in Indonesia but he did not pull it out of the ocean. He discovered one for sale at a local fish market. That's definitely the last place you expect to spot a dinosaur. It actually turned out that there are two different breeds of coelacanth left on Earth, with the Indonesian version having split about six million years ago from the African version. The Enfield Horror. It's hard to say what's real and what's not when it comes to cryptids. Nonetheless, in 1970, something horrible allegedly stalked the small and quiet town of Enfield in Illinois. Illinois is already home to many strange phenomena, such as thunderbirds and strange lights in the woods. But on April 25, 1973, a man named Henry McDaniel cited something that would become known as the Enfield Horror. It all happened at 9.30 p.m. McDaniel had just returned home when his kids began telling him about something that had tried to get inside the house by scratching at the door. Shortly after this, Henry himself heard scratching from his front door. He expected to find a dog or cat trying to get in, but he instead found a creature with three legs, a short and mutated body, two small arms, and two large pink eyes as bright and as big as flashlights. The creature allegedly had flesh the color of a rotting corpse, and it was trying to get into his house. Henry apparently slammed the door shut and grabbed his pistol, then fired at the creature at least four times before it got away. This seems like something completely ridiculous out of a horror movie, but it was allegedly a real thing that happened. Apparently, state troopers even found scratches on the side of this guy's house. They were similar to a dog's, but they had six toes instead of four. More sightings of the Enfield monster occurred afterward, but it was never captured or properly documented. Bigfoot there has been an abundance of Bigfoot sightings over the year, and now that everyone has a phone that can take videos, there have been more and more video recordings of Bigfoot. But one of the most spectacular sightings came from traffic CCTV footage that caught a mysterious creature walking through a snowy field. The footage has blown people's socks off. The traffic cameras were located in Washington State, and it was actually the Washington State Department of Transportation that revealed the footage of the ape-like creature strolling casually through a snowfield. Could this really have been Bigfoot, or was it simply a really hairy man making his way back to his ATV? It's honestly difficult to say for sure, but Washington State is one of the Bigfoot sighting hotspots. This is also perhaps the clearest video ever uploaded of a Bigfoot monster, and it was even uploaded by a legitimate government operation. It's now being advised that all visitors to Washington parks should keep a lookout for any large hairy monsters prowling the snowy forests. Kansas City Sinkhole Monster about 70 years ago, a young boy from a small Kansas town found a monster living in a lake. He allegedly fired two shots at the beast with his hunting rifle, only for the creature to disappear under the water. 
and this was how the legend of Sinkhole Sam came to be. To this day, people still believe there is a large sea monster living in a Kansas sinkhole. In fact, there have been several reports of a large creature that looks a lot like a snake swimming inside the big sinkhole, which is the official name of the sinkhole according to the Kansas State Department of Transportation. This body of water is located slightly northwest of Wichita, and there have been apparently sightings of the beast ever since 1952. While it might not be a legendary dragon that lives down there, locals are positive it's something. Unfortunately, it could actually just be a gopher snake. According to the president and executive director of the Center for North American Herpetology, the legend of the Kansas sinkhole monster is probably just a very large gopher snake that made its home near the water. The snake probably just so happened to scare the pants off a handful of locals who were unfortunate enough to meet it. Yoda in the Woods it's not every day you find Yoda lurking in your backyard. However, a woman managed to film a creature skulking just behind the tree line at her house in Minnesota. The creature looked almost like Yoda wearing beige robes, but it also could have been a woodland gargoyle. Whatever it was, the creature was certainly not normal. According to Stephanie Gibson, who recorded the unsettling footage herself, the creature was fixated on a group of deer in her yard, but would occasionally turn to look at her and then back at the deer. This is obviously not the behavior of a wild animal. Only something kind of human could act in such a way. In fact, you can hear the people screaming in the video while the creature turns its head to regard them. Unfortunately, the creature does not come out of the shaded area of the forest, and we never get a good look at it in the video. Some people claim it's just a cat, others say it's definitely a gargoyle, and of course some people claim it could be a curious extraterrestrial out for a stroll and observing the local life. Loch Ness Monster when a tourist took a photo in 2020 at Loch Ness, he incidentally may have taken a photo of the famous monster itself. To the untrained eye, the photograph appears completely normal, but if you look close enough, you can see that the English tourist definitely caught what appears to be a very large fish monster with only part of its body revealed. While it might not actually be the Loch Ness monster, the photographer did tell the local news that he had been prompted to take a picture because of some strange ripples in the water. He saw a strange fish appear at the surface and then go under the water. He pulled out his camera and by some miracle he captured a photograph of what could be Nessie's head. Of course, it could also just be a very large catfish, or it could be the legendary monster. If the photograph is indeed of an unidentified creature in the lock, it could easily be the clearest photograph of anything unexplainable inside Loch Ness. For those who firmly believe in the monster, you should keep in mind that during peak tourist season there are thousands of visitors every day snapping photographs, and this is the only one that appears to show anything related to a monster. But what does that mean? And is this indeed definitive proof of the Loch Ness monster? Which of these monsters do you think is legit? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much for stopping by. See you again soon for another awesome video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.